Shay, just outside Historic Alumni Hall, the statue of Lou Karnasek a couple decades ago. They renamed this arena the Karnasek Arena for the legendary Hall of Fame coach Lou Karnasek, born in 1925. You know, Louis still follows the game, and back in March, he was one of the more outspoken people to say this program at St. John's needed to hire Rick Patino, and they did. And the idea, Patino returning the Red Storm to their glory days. And Seth Greenberg, as a young coach, looked up to Louis. And earlier today, he had the chance to sit down with a 98 year old over some coffee to talk hoops. Coach, I appreciate you doing this. I mean, this, this is a treat for me. What did the Big East mean to you when, when they created the Big East? Let it me, changed things, Let right? me tell you something. I was not one of the, you know, champions, but because I was happy with what I had. But I think it turned out to be the greatest thing that ever happened. Syracuse, no timeout. Washington, blocked by Walter Perry. St. John's wins. Basketball exploded in this area the whole East, and it really brought basketball back. Madison Square Garden, the, that was fantastic. We had good basketball schools, a lot of good players, and it was charismatic, you know. <laughs> How about the coaches? Like, I, I'm, I'm gonna mention a coach's name, and first thing that comes to your mind, Coach Massimino. I can't say it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, first thing is just a, if I can use my anatomy, it was a pain in the ischial tuberosis. <laughs> Coach Thompson. Uh, tough. I mean, we played him three out of four times, he beat us. Uh, how about this guy Patino you coached against? Uh, you know, I think of Fatima as one of the great five coaches of all time. That's quite a statement. That's my opinion. But as a coach, I've coached against them. Watch them operate. I'm thrilled to be able to introduce the next head men's basketball coach at St. John's University, Rick Patino. I know he's going to get us back on the road. I know he will. No doubt my mind. It's not about when or if. It's going to happen for St. John's. And it's going to happen in a big way. What makes him special? First of all, his tremendous love for the game. Number two, his intensity. He's almost consumed by, by basketball. And he had great knowledge, great experience. He's been through it all. Is it fun to go watch him practice? Yes, I so, went. I went to practice. It's like a, a long, I'd be watching Toscanini conducting the symphony, very orchestrated, to the point, repetitious. Got the whole book. Oh, we love Louis. The return of Rick Pitino to the Big East. One of the Big storylines heading into the college basketball season. Patino has taken five different programs to the NCAA tournament. Could St. John's be next? The 71-year-old is the only coach to ever win a national title with multiple programs. And his tour with St. John's begins on November 7th, the season opener against Stony Brook. By the way, here on the court as we continue all access and we wrap things up, the one thing that stands out, when St. John's basketball is rocking, the garden is rocking inside this arena, Karnaseka Arena, you see it everywhere. We are New York's team and you get that vibe that it's back. Back to you, Shay.